Hi, welcome back to Easy Moto Tim. Today we're going to look at how Tire to Navigate handles points of interest. We'll download a POI file and load it to our GPS. A POI file contains a list of geographical locations. Each location has a name and can optionally contain an address, phone number, and other attributes. The file can also contain an image that will appear on the screen at a POI location. Also, the file can contain a sound that will be played whenever you approach a POI. On a Garmin GPS, you can access installed POI files in the Extras section. At least they are on my Zumo 665. They're not located in the Favorites section. If you have a Garmin GPS and want to load a POI file to it, you use Garmin's POI Loader program. To create or modify a POI file, you have to use a spreadsheet program or Garmin Basecamp before using POI Loader. I'm not familiar with the procedures required to load a POI file to a TomTom GPS. Working with POI files for both TomTom and Garmin GPSs is much easier with Tire to Navigate. You can import a file that you've downloaded from the internet or read a POI file directly from your GPS. You can create a list of POIs from scratch if you want to. Your POI list can be loaded directly to your GPS using Tire. Let's get a POI file and an image and a sound, bring them into Tire and load them on my GPS. Before we look at how Tire handles POI files, we'll go here to poi-factory.com and download a POI file. Now, in order to download from this site, you have to have an account and you have to be logged in. So I'm logged in and we'll go to this first category, airports and aviation. We'll go to national car rental, return sites. Now we can download the file in either GPX or CSV format. It doesn't matter which you download, um, Tire can handle both file formats. So we'll pick GPX and it will download. Next we're going to download a bitmap file, an image that we can use with our POI file. We'll download this one, the 24 by 24 bitmap. Now as I mentioned, a POI file can have a sound file attached to it. So we're going to go over here to ttsmp3.com and create a uh, audio file. And we'll type in a phrase. And uh, I'll spell it correctly. I like the uh, English guy, Matthew. You can pick whatever language and voice that appeals to you. And if you have it, read it. National car return ahead. It, you can see how it sounds and then download it as an MP3. Now we're entire with an empty list. The first thing you need to do when working with POIs is go to File, Convert to Tire POI File. Notice that that changes the second item in the menu from waypoint to point of interest. We can go into that file, add from file, and select the file we downloaded. You get a list box here and you hit control all, control A to select all of them. You can select whichever ones you want um, in this box, then click OK. And you see you have a default 
image and you have 64 uh, points in this list. Now they're numbered because in Tools, Preferences, Files. If Use Automatic Numbering of Waypoints is turned on, they'll be numbered. If you turn that off, then they're not numbered. Now if you go to Point of Interest and Menu, go down to Image, this little message we can uh, read and close and we'll get the bitmap file that we downloaded and open that. Click display to see them on the screen. And so it's changed the image from the default to the national car rental bitmap that we downloaded from POI Factory. Also then if you go to point of interest, add sound, you can use a default sound or you can select a custom sound by hitting the three dots. There's the MP3 we created. You can test it by clicking on the speaker. National car, return ahead. National car, return ahead. And then click OK. Now that's saved in the file. We'll need to save this file. We'll do File, Save, and we want to pick the entire POI file format and save it with the name. Click, oh, click Save. Now to put this on our GPS, we go to Garmin, copy to Garmin, it does it, it's been copied to the POI section on my Garmin. Now we can uh, open from Garmin and we can see on the POI files tab over here that the National Car Return is there. Now, since we picked Open, we could open any of these three POI files. I'm going to cancel. And then Garmin, delete from Garmin, you can remove the file. I'm going to POI Files, click on National Car Return, and I'm going to delete it. Yes. I want to delete it and then close it. Now if you've opened a POI file and you want to modify it, there are a few things you can do. When you click on any one of them, double click, you can uh, edit it or you can uh, click on the pencil to edit the name. And down here you see the latitude and longitude. You click on that and it brings up this screen where you can change the uh, location's latitude and longitude. And if you know the phone number, you can click the pencil here and you could enter a phone number for that location. There you have it, a very simple way to manage POI files using Tire to Navigate. Thanks for watching. If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.